one. Oh, this guy's feisty, bro. Oh. They're all still, still pretty cold. Got another one. Things are getting fat. Oh, he's peeing everywhere. He's got his gullet. Oh, some dirt. Anyways, that's number three. Let him go. Ugh. So, I think Chase has one. And I've got three now. And I lost one. We're getting our redemption from yesterday, or Saturday, so let's keep trucking. What you doing? Got one, got one. Oh geez, this is a good one. Oh yeah. Oh geez. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, oh I beat you. <laughs> Oh, it is definitely bigger than yours. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Man, I found a. Ah. All right, folks. Well, it ain't no five pounder, I don't think, but definitely bigger than Chase's. On a stanko. <laughs> yeah. What? Yours was what? 18 inches? 18 inches in a lot better. Get out of here. How much do you think that goes? How much do you think that goes? No length. I'm saying 16. No way, dude. I I caught a 15. That was half the size. It's definitely not. You ready? Yeah. You ready to be sad? Sure. <laughs> what is it? 17 and three quarters. I'm talking about still a winner. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. Want to sink out, really? Yeah, dude, under that dock. Well, you were there earlier when I said it sink. It's all, it's all about how you wiggle your worm. <laughs> it's not about the size of the worm, it's about how you wiggle it. Not bad. I got the mouse now. That's four. Four to my two. I'm just glad I got a big fish. Ish. I mean, that thing was pushing like, that's probably like four, four, four and a half pounds. I'll be honest. The thing was heavy. The only reason mine was so heavy is because it was big around. Well, it's big around. Oh really? Yeah, it's really different. Really? Yeah. Oh damn, did you take a picture of it? No. Oh, you should take a picture of it. Alright, well. 
<laughs> Caught that one on a little wacky rig Senko. Let's see if we can uh, flip under these docks some more and find some bigger ones. Fish number five, even though he's a tiny one. <laughs> the smallest fish of the day eats the dang biggest bait. <laughs> oh. Well, oh. they're starting to move up shallow here, so hopefully, we can get a few before we head out. All right, guys, what's going on? Oh, man, finally, redemption day. After Saturday's tournament, I didn't feel uh, too good about myself, uh, not catching any fish, and, you know, it was just a crappy day. But we made up for it today. Uh, we caught five fish. We lost about two or three more, and uh, the biggest one went, like, 17 and three-quarters or something. But... I want to give a shout out to uh, Chase right off the bat this morning. I mean, we were he was probably in the water five minutes and caught a nice 18 incher. So that was the biggest bass for the day. And uh, and he ended up catching another one uh, and then lost a few more. But overall, I mean, it was a good day getting out catching fish finally. And uh, the weather's been warming up. Uh, the last two days it's been pretty warm and it's about to. Uh, go down a little bit, but it's going to warm up here in the next couple weeks. And then uh, two weeks from now, we'll be in uh, Louisiana for the KBF National Championship. So uh, if you don't follow the Fin Freaks team page, go follow it. Um, I'm pretty sure Mario will be doing updates on uh, how myself and Rob are doing. But it's a three-day tournament, um, the first two days everybody's fishing and then it's cut down to 100 on the third day so hopefully we can make that cut uh, myself and Rob and then uh, we'll fish that third day so we got a, a couple more weeks of preparation and then we'll be headed down that way so stay tuned for those videos coming out and that'll probably be the next video I might do one more um, afterwards but thanks for watching I hope you enjoy the fish catches. I'm finally getting some, and uh, we'll catch you next time.